Hey guys, welcome back to Breast Belt Broncos. And today we are installing the 25575R17s on the Overland trailer. I did run into a snag as I was initially installing these. And what I wind up having to do is pick up a two inch um, spacer because the uh, wheel was hitting one, two, three bolts plus this bottom bolt. This is a timber and 3,500 pound axle that we custom fitted to this trailer. So I basically measured my offset wrong on that tire back there. Now on the forums, a lot of guys are running these two inch spacers. They said to make sure that, you know, I'm constantly checking them, um, uh, adding any torque specs and, you know, after 300 miles, go back up in here and um, check on the nuts that are on the two inch spacer. So um, we're going to go ahead and finish this side and uh, I will show you what this thing looks like um, with the new 255-75 R17 wheels. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that 13 inch wheel off. Okay, here it is with the two inch spacer installed. What you're going to do is take your stock lugs, run them through the holes there, and uh, they give you 11 16th uh, new lugs to put in there. And then what you're gonna do is, see how this lug is tapered, you're gonna run it through, uh, but they supply you with Loctite. And it says, after the first 100 miles, take your tire off, um, check torque, and again after 300 miles and again after a thousand miles so uh, a little bit of work here to do on uh, checking to make sure that the um the torque on them are, are still good but uh i definitely needed to do this because those tires weren't going to fit and i didn't want to cut the frame uh, let's go ahead and throw that 255 on Okay, we got uh, both 255s on, and wow, what an improvement. Um, as you can see, we have a lot more ground clearance here. Also, what you might be able to see right now is the trailer nose is really down on the Bronco. So the next step here is the drop pitch. We're going to take the pins out and raise it up to where it's level. And then uh, I won't have to worry about these little 13-inch tires anymore. And then what we're gonna do is tackle next is um, the lights. I don't like the light configuration on this. So we're gonna tear all that out and put the, uh, the junction box in. But as far as clearance, we definitely have a lot more clearance with the 255-17s. Looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and take the hitch off the Bronco and level this guy out so it's not nose diving right there.